Welcome to the Cross TV. Dr. Joseph Nasrallah, the founder, has asked myself and my wife. I'm David, and this is my lovely wife. Joanna. We are the Herobedians Virtual Church Media, and we have the privilege of sharing with you a great message today. Joy, the joy of the Lord, is your weapon. I was coming through the tunnel in San Francisco to go preach at a church, and the Lord said, tell them that the joy of the Lord is their weapon. And so we're going to share that today, and God is going to show you that the weapons of the warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And you're going to learn that the joy of the Lord is your strength. There's going to be an impartation, super natural impartation, not your ability. You don't have to do anything for it. It's just going to descend upon you for the joy that was set before Jesus. He endured the cross. It was a dark Friday, but Sunday was coming. And the joy of the Lord enabled him to get through that situation. And he sat down at the right hand of the Father. And he's been ruling and reigning ever since. He's going to begin to rule and reign afresh in and through your situation through the joy that he's about to impart to you. I'd like for my amazing wife to play some music just to set the atmosphere. My wife ministers around the world and she gets downloads from heaven of the song of the Lord. And so with no further ado, this is my lovely wife, Joanna Herobedian. Well, we're so excited to be here with you guys today, and thank you, Dr. Joseph, for inviting us. If you are on Facebook Live and you have a friend who's been struggling with depression, send them an invite to the live right now, uh, to the recording, because this message is one that they need to hear. You know, we've been in a time this last couple of years, it's been very, very challenging for a lot of people, and people have been struggling with deferred hope. And that's very real circumstances that cause us to feel depressed or lose hope in the Lord. And so today, we're here to encourage you that God's going to break that depression. He's going to break that deferred hope. And like Pastor David was saying, he's going to release a joy, a new supernatural joy. So we're going to start out with a little prophetic worship and some soaking music. You know, one of the things that the Lord has really spoken to me is the scripture with Martha and Mary. Martha and Mary, they, they were with Jesus and all the disciples. And Martha was running around cleaning and cooking and doing this and doing that. And Mary was at his feet. Mary was at Jesus' feet. And she was just laying there, taking him in. And so Martha got angry with Mary and complained to Jesus about Mary, that she wasn't doing anything. And Jesus said to Martha, Mary is doing what is right. She's at my feet. And so today I encourage you to just close your eyes as I just sing prophetically and just play the sounds of heaven and allow the Holy Spirit to come and minister to you right now. Because today is a day of healing for you. Today is a day of miracles. Especially if you've been feeling in that dark place, God is going to deliver you because his love is going to just fall on you right now. So just lift up your hands to heaven and just repeat after me and just say, Jesus, I surrender to you right now all my depression, all my sadness, all my grieving, all my anger. And just fill in the blank. Anything else that you need to surrender to the Lord right now, just go ahead and do that right now. Just say, Lord, I surrender this to you. And now I want you to say, fill me, Holy Spirit. Fill me with a fresh baptism of your fire. Fill me with fresh new hope. Remove all the darkness in Jesus' name. 
So just close your eyes and we're just going to worship a little together. Heavenly Father, we praise your mighty name. We bless the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we thank you for your presence now, right? In, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your glory to fall, Lord. For your anointing to break every yoke. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Fill us with your love, fill us with your joy, Holy Spirit come, Holy Spirit come, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Zephaniah 3.17 says, For the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He takes great delight in you. He rejoices over you with singing. I'm going to repeat that again. For the Lord your God is with you. He takes great delight in you. He is mighty to save. And he rejoices over you as singing. And I just release the angel of the Lord into your house right now. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for Psalm 91. I bind Psalm 91 to you right now. And we release the angels of the Lord according to Psalm 91. That you will rest under the shadow of the Almighty, and under his wings, you will find refuge. I just hear the Lord saying, I love you, says Jesus. I love you. I love you, says the Lord. And I just release the warmth of his embrace to wrap around you right now and the fire of his love to fill you in Jesus' name. I see one of you has uh, been struggling with mental torment. And so right now I speak to that mental torment and I break that tormenting spirit off of you in Jesus' name. I release the shalom peace of God over you in Jesus name I break off these nightmares that's been tormenting you and harassing you and I command the angels of the Lord to go into your house right now and remove this harassing spirit in Jesus name and I release peace peace to your mind peace to your body peace to your soul peace to your spirit Shalom, peace be still. Shalom, peace be still. I speak to that root of trauma that opening and right now I command time to freeze in Jesus name and Lord I ask that you step in front of your son and your daughter right now in Jesus name in that moment of time where trauma entered and I ask that you take him to that moment Lord and you step in front of it and absorb it all for them wherever they're at right now absorb all the pain the trauma, 
the torment, everything that's come along with that in Jesus' name. And I command everything that was created that is ungodly to be uncreated right now in Jesus' name as if it never happened. And I release healing to you right now. I release healing. The blood of Jesus is covering you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus that heals every disease and forgives every sin and every yoke of iniquity is broken in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you now. We release your Holy Spirit into the airways, the highways, and the byways in Jesus' name. And we close every doorway, portal, gateway opening in the name of Jesus. And we assign an angel to every one of those places. And we thank you now, Lord, for release, opening up our ears to hear and our eyes to see your presence, Lord. And our ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking today. Today is a day of victory for you in Jesus' name. And I pray that after the, you have heard and watched this broadcast, you will never be the same because the hand of God has touched you. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we give you permission to change us. We don't want to be the same, Lord. We want to be transformed in this hour right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit to just pour out like a waterfall through everybody's soul, through your mind, through your spirit in Jesus' name. And we bless your name, Lord. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless your mighty name and we say thank you, Lord for what you're doing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the miracles and the testimonies from this broadcast today. And we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. For your goodness and your grace, Lord. Give us the grace to change. Change our mind, Lord. In Jesus' name. So beautiful, so beautiful. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Nehemiah 8.10. The joy of the Lord. The joy that the world gives is not like the joy that heaven gives. The joy that the world gives is dependent upon circumstances or drugs or alcohol or some temporary pleasure, but then it brings a hollowness and an emptiness to the soul, whereas the joy of the Lord is is your strength. The joy that was set before Jesus, it wasn't dependent upon the circumstances. In fact, the circumstances were bleak. For the joy that was set before Jesus, he endured the cross for you and for me. What kind of joy is this that enables you to be catapulted through every line of the enemy's defense and come out on the other side like the children of Israel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. There was a fourth man who showed up in the fire who was the Son of God. And today, the Son of God is showing up in your circumstances. I'm not sure if you're familiar with scuba diving, an odd illustration that just came up in my mind, but I'm going to share the metaphor when a scuba diver is under the water and he or she begins to run out of scuba air in their tank of air, scuba diving under the water, they become frantic because the circumstances become very difficult. They begin to panic. But if another scuba diver comes and hands them a tank of air, it doesn't necessarily change the circumstances, but it certainly enables them to breathe within the circumstances. And when the joy of the Lord comes, it's like a tank of fresh air that enables you to stop panicking, stop worrying, 
and enables you to be sustained in the midst of the circumstances until your circumstances change. Job in the Old Testament, the book of Job, he was in some difficult circumstances. They, theologians believe that his circumstances lasted about nine months, but then God turned it around and he was sustained through the circumstances by the hand of the Lord and then God gave him back Double, twice as much for the trouble they had endured. And God restored unto him everything that had been taken in a day. And nine months later, God restored double for his trouble. God wants to do double for your trouble today as you stay single-minded on him, not losing track or focus of the sea walker on the water when you've been invited out to walk with him. He encourages you to keep your eyes on him, the author and the finisher of your faith. And he's able to sustain you and bring you out. You know, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel were tested, they were then promoted. Before promotion always comes a test. You don't graduate grade school or junior high or high school or college or get a doctor degree or a you know a medical degree or any sort of advancement in information technologies or whatever that is that you're seeking as a skill set or gift or a career without a test in life we're either in a storm or we're just emerging out of a storm or we're just about to enter a storm there are always storms on the horizon or you're in the middle of a storm. We have to look for Jesus in the midst of the storm and we have to ask him for more grace. And he gives more grace to the humble. And the word humble could be taught as teachable. And the word prideful could be taught as unteachable. He gives more grace to the humble, those that are relying upon him and are teachable, saying, Lord, what do I need to learn in the midst of this storm? How is character being developed in me that when you deliver me out on the other side, even though it looks bleak, it looks like there's no way out, it looks like I'm done. Lord, I thank you. You are the God who quickens the dead and you resurrect us out of the situation. And my wife and I have been through many trials and tests. You look at us today, you look like, oh, that nothing's ever happened to them mm -hmm. in life. Last year, I had to fight seven high-level spirits that tried to kill me. And it was a one-year battle. And they came one after another. One lasted three months, another one lasted a couple weeks, and I'd get a reprieve, and then another one. And finally, three came at the same time. I didn't share this. There are certain battles that you have to undergo privately with the Lord. And you join together with your spouse and maybe some key prayer warriors. There's other battles that you call publicly. I need help. I need strength. I need your prayers right now. And so there's some battles that you're going to have to go through privately as you get to know Jesus in the midst of the storm. And there's other battles that you go through with a team or with the family of God. But we're always 100% dependent upon the Lord vertically. And then as he leads and guides, we become interdependent upon other members of our prayer warrior family. So where we are dependent upon God, he's the only one that can deliver us, then he'll send people that we'll agree with in prayer or we'll get advice or counsel or provision from. And you see the vertical and the horizontal relationship, that's where the cross is at, where God is honored and his people are honored, where we're dependent upon God and interdependent upon other members in the body of Messiah. Jesus shows up because the cross is present. Joy is your weapon in this current season. And we're going to pray for a supernatural impartation of joy. The Bible says in 
Luke 10.17, when the 70 returned unto Jesus, they returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. He said, rejoice not that the demons are subject to you, but rejoice much more that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Real joy comes from having your name written in the Lamb's book of life. Have you had your name written in the Lamb's book of life? There's one way to have that happen, and there's one way to ensure it's there, and that's by accepting the Lamb's sacrifice on the cross 2,000 years ago. Jesus was hung up for your hang-ups. Jesus paid it all. The Greek word in the New Testament for it is finished is the word tetelestai. It means bill paid in full. My wife and I were recently on this amazing cruise and they had upgraded us. It was an amazing VIP experience. We got something we didn't pay for. God graced us with something that he paid for. And we were treated wonderfully. And everything on the much-needed five-day vacation, we were out on these waters in this amazing cruise ship and this VIP uh, double-promoted experience. Everything was to Telestai. Bill paid in full. As much as we wanted of food and refreshments, it was all inclusive. Today, did you know that with the joy of the Lord, that's included in the bill? Did you know that the provision of God is included in the bill? Did you know that healing is included in the bill? Deliverance is included. Family restoration is included. And it's all included on the good ship Zion with Jesus as the captain of the ship. You might feel like you're not on a cruise ship. You might feel like you're in the lion's den or the fiery furnace or you're alone or depressed. You might feel as though things are not going to work out. You might have an experience with a sickness or a dis-ease that you're battling, but I've got good gospel news. Jesus said on the cross to Telestai, it is finished. He did not say to be continued. He said, it is finished. Bill paid in full. Would you like to receive the benefits package that's available simply by saying yes to Jesus? If you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're saying, you say, what will my friends think? Does it really matter? You might say, well, I, I'm in another religion. Would you like your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Would you like to go ensure your salvation? There's a scripture that says, whom do I seek to please, God or man? If I was still seeking to please man, I would not be a bondservant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I turn from my old ways. I turn to you. I believe that what you did for me on the cross, you died for me on the cross. I've heard it before, but now I apply it to my life. Jesus, I invite you in to make me new, to cleanse me, to fill me, and to fill me with a dose of that joy that Pastor David and Joanna are talking about today. And I want joy as a weapon that will enable me to go into the storm, into the fiery furnace, to the cross, to get through the cross, through the fiery furnace, through the wilderness, through the storm, with a smile on my face that's supernatural in nature. Jesus, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I give you residence in me to change me from the inside out by the power of your Holy Spirit and the cleansing work of your shed blood. Deliver me from every stronghold, every demon, every wrong thinking pattern, every depression and depravity. And I receive now the joy 
of the Lord that is my strength. The joy of the Lord that is my strength. And now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I release supernatural joy to you. That's joy unspeakable. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I feel it leaving like my fingertips. And when that feeling comes, I know God's doing something in the hearer and the seer's eyes and hearts and in your body. I break off hope deferred. Hope deferred, I see you and I break your power right now. Hope deferred, I cancel completely your assignment and I release a desire fulfilled which is like a tree of life. Proverbs 13, 12 is the scripture. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a desire fulfilled is like a tree of life. I've got a river of life flowing out of me, makes the lame to walk, makes the blind to see, opens prison doors, sets the captives free. Hey, I've got a river of joyful life flowing out of me. Just say it. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. As you say that, you'll see it'll begin to bubble forth. I believe my lovely wife has something to say. Joanna? I see the Lord restoring what the canker worm and the locusts have eaten. And so right now, I just release the joy of restoration back into your life in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for healing their land, healing their family healing their heart, healing their body in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that today is a new day and you give them a new song from heaven. I release that new song of heaven to just fill your soul right now. The new song of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to share something. The Bible says, obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your soul. This is Luke 15, 17. As they must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that's unprofitable to you. So when we submit to those that God has temporarily or long-term placed an authority over us, do it in a way that it gives them joy and not with sorrow. And God will say, that one's passed the test. I'm promoting them out from under that person's authority. Luke 10, 17, the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devil, devils are subject to us in your name. And Luke 15, 10, I want you to hear this verse, and we're going to play a video of our evangelist friend that we support in Africa, in Nigeria, where tens of thousands of souls are saved in the, uh, the, the outreaches where we provide beans and rice and an onion and some candy for the children. And we go into the rural areas of Nigeria, West Africa, where there's not a lot of joy. And we bring the joy of the Lord. Luke 15, 10 says, likewise, I say, likewise, this is Jesus speaking, likewise, I say unto you, that there is joy in the presence of the angels over one sinner that repents. There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. I'd like for us to play the video of Israel Agre. It's about two minutes. And this is what's getting ready to happen in Nigeria, West Africa, about 94 miles outside of the capital city of Lagos. This is Israel Agre, who's been in ministry 46 years, and his ministry is on our website at virtualchurchmedia.com. And Israel has been faithful for 46 years preaching the gospel, and he and his team of 30 are about to go in to this area. And God has been giving people dreams of a man in a white robe, inviting them to a specific location to be saved. And people are even hearing the name of the evangelist that's coming in that they don't know. This is not 
search engine marketing. This is not social media marketing. This is God marketing through dreams and visions of the night and a supernatural move of God. Let's play that video with evangelist Israel Agre. Brother David, this is evangelist Israel Agri reaching you. I want to talk to you about the crusade that is coming very shortly. There has been a great testimony from among 200 people from the neighboring villages where this crusade is going to be held, testifying of a man they have seen on a white robe, telling them to go and be saved from that crusade. I have seen God move in various ways before, but I have never seen anything quite like this before. Of this supernatural revelation and vision that people are receiving. And in this village, we expect over 50,000 souls to be saved. And each soul will cost about 50 cents. We know that God is moving, drawing the people but we cannot go without funds. And you, Brother David, with your friends and partners, has been a great sponsoring, sponsoring us for several years. We saw this kind of move over 12 years ago where over 170,000 souls were saved. And all I can say is, this is the hand of God. We also expect to buy food and help the poor in the village so we can feed them. The gospel of Jesus Christ is reaching and touching so many people. And I see this as a spiritual tsunami. God's move is like a great earthquake of God's power that is shaking the villages and shaking the people and causing the awareness of this great move to come upon them is a spiritual awakening of harvest of souls. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. How exciting. That's our good friend Israel Agre, and he's been winning souls for years and years and years and years, and we ask for you to help support. And think about this. For the price in America of a $5 Starbucks coffee with cream and caramel on it, that represents $5.50 a, a soul. That's like 10 souls for a cup of coffee in America. If you're in the Middle East, I don't know what coffee costs, Turkish coffee. I remember when I was there in the Middle East over in the Holy Land when I was young. And uh, Turkish coffee, it was uh, very strong. I can, all I can say is this, it'll keep you awake. But for the joy of winning souls, that'll give you the peace of God that bypasses understanding. You can go to virtualchurchmedia.com. You can support off our website on the Give link. You can also go to the Ministries link and see a link on there of Israel Agre. And that's the home we were able. Also, here's our VCM mobile app. We want to give you something. On our mobile app, everything is at no cost, meaning it doesn't cost you anything. We've got books, audio teachings, podcasts, audiobooks different translations of the Bible on our mobile app. I didn't say it was free. I said it was at no cost to you. Just like salvation is at no cost to you, but Jesus paid a great price for it, for it, for you. All you have to do is receive it. There's an example of our mobile app, and we'll put the QR tag back on again to where you can see that and just scan it and download it. You can also go to virtualchurchmedia.com. And there's translations of the Bible on there. There's an audio Bible. There's a one-year Bible reading program. And it's paid for for you by the friends and partners of Virtual Church Media. You can go to virtualchurchmedia.com or download the mobile app even now. And we would love to hear from you at info at virtualchurchmedia.com as well. I want to close out with uh, a little bit of a dance my wife did with these six-foot gold angel wings. It's a warrior dance. And if we could just put a minute of that up and then we'll pray at the end.
because God is moving through the creative arts and dance. And as you see this, you'll feel the presence of God and the glory come in. Let's go to that dance with the uh, golden angel wings glorifying Jesus as she sings out of the wilderness, which is also on the app. This mind. such a beautiful service and God healed people and I don't know if there's one more video there where we were recently in Kansas City and Barry had a broken neck this video is about a minute and a half but we want to release the healing power of God to you if that video comes up we'll play it Barry with a broken neck from a car accident and the healing took about 20 minutes from the time that the Lord had me lay hands on him and the heat just came down his body and then God's healing power came and finished that miraculous work he began to take off the neck brace and then he began to get out of his wheelchair and take off the neck brace and then he began to push somebody in the wheelchair and in the night service he brought somebody back that had had a stroke that was in a wheelchair. He went back to the rehabilitation center. He immediately went into the work of the healing ministry. God does it to you, then he wants to do it through you unto others. I don't know if we have that or not. What time is it? It's Bible time. We're here at Heart of America Prison Ministries and Virtual Church Media packing Bibles. And there's our mascot. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> And you can see Bibles, 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 yes. addresses. This is how we do it with tape and all the other wonderful things that are going on. And here's the kind of Bibles we send out. There's the Rose of Sharon. And you can see these are nice quality study Bibles. And just to give you an idea, and these are not just your regular Bible. So trusty 66 between two fine Corinthian leather covers. And this is what we do at Heart of America Prison Ministries. Helping change lives one Bible at a time, one life at a time. I'm David Herobedian and I well, that wasn't the video, but that is our Bible ministry. God makes no accidents, so you can also go to heartbibleministry.org, heartbibleministry.org and you can see what we're doing there. We provide uh, first quality bonded leather, genuine leather, leather flex, uh, leather type Bibles to prisoners in about 1,500 facilities with the partnership of so many people around the nations. And we just sent in, I think, another uh, 68 Bibles a couple of weeks ago, another 65. We've done as many as 1,100 Bibles to individual prisoners in a single mailing with a generous donation that came in. As donations come in, we then purchase Bibles at closeout and wholesale prices to extend the hand and the love of Jesus. I was in prison and you came unto me, Matthew 25, verses 36 through 46. Jesus said, I was in prison and you came unto me. Lord, when did we see you in prison? He said, when you came and did it unto the least of these, my brethren, you did it unto me. Enter the rest of my father, for you're one of my sheep. You know what separates the sheep and the goats? According to the Bible, Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46, the parable of the sheep and the goats. 
What separates the sheep from the goats is this, by what they did and did not do. By what they did and did not do. We can name the name of Christ, but then when that power comes in, that joy comes in, we'll have a heart for others to know him and the power of his resurrection. HeartBibleMinistry.org and you can also visit us at VirtualChurchMedia.com As we close out, we're going to go ahead and pray for miracles to be released. Lord, we didn't see that video of Barry who was in that car accident where he was T-boned in his car and he was broken neck and he was in that wheelchair for two and a half months until somebody pushed him into that healing service. And as Joanna had played the music and as the preaching was going on, you began to touch him by your sovereign hand. And right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, Lord, for healing again and releasing brand new strength into the bodies, new body parts. I command bones that were broken to fuse under the sound of my voice. I come against the pain in the head from blunt force trauma. I command kidney function to be restored and recreative miracles to come into your body right now. I see where there's been uh, kidney stones. I command kidney stones, I command you to dissolve and to go out painlessly and to diminish and disappear and dissipate and never return again. I take you to the court of heaven, to the court of never again. You've had recurring problems, but I declare today in the court room of God, we declare in accordance with Nahum 1.9, no longer will this be cyclical or seasonal, but we declare affliction shall not rise up in your life a second time. And I break this thing off of your generations. It is not generational because it comes into your generation, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, because your name is in the Lamb's book of life. Therefore, your generations are called blessed. We declare Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your whole household shall be saved. We release angelic ministry and angelic dreams. And I declare the shalom peace of God by the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God who came to destroy the works of the devil to be released manifestly in your life. In Jesus' name. Joanna, if you would be so kind as to close us out in this final 30 to 45 seconds. Lord, we thank you now. We seal your sons and daughters in the blood of Jesus. And we seal them in miracles from heaven and a new joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we loose your glory over you right now. And today is a new day. Today is the day of miracles. And we just send the angels of the Lord now from the north, the east, the south, and the west to you and your family to do the work of God, which is to prosper you, not to harm you. Jeremiah 29, 11. For the Lord, your God, for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And as you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you, says the Lord. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time. God bless you and thank you, Dr. Joseph.